There are places west of the Missouri where gambling stakes are rather high. This is particularly true when the wager depends on a man's life. Frontier Gentlemen. an Englishman's account of life and death in the West. As a reporter for the London Times, he writes his colorful and unusual story. But as a man with a gun, he lives and becomes a part of the violent years in the new territory. Now, starring John Daner, this is the story of J.B. Kendall, Frontier Gentleman. <laughs> I had stayed in Montana Territory hoping for an interview with Sitting Bull or even Crazy Horse. But General Crook's attack across the Tongue River put an end to that hope, at least for the time being. And so, with a full-fledged Indian war exploding around me, I had no choice but to remain where I was. The settlement with a normal population of perhaps a hundred had swollen to four times that number. The saloon keeper, gambler, and others were doing a thriving business, and the... The most popular spot in town was undoubtedly a place bearing the rather, oh, sanguinary legend, Jug of Blood. It was what is known as a honky-tonk. I was passing outside when the trouble began. The doors flew open and half a dozen brawling men erupted in the street. In sheer self-defense, I became a combatant. My dear fellow, I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, you could buy that. Yeah. Jolly good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh it's just some no good son of a gun was cheating at poker, and no good son of a gun. Really? Yeah. Uh, one of those. Uh, how should I know? I wasn't playing. I just heard it all. Yeah. You know, if there's anything I hate, it's uh, no good cheating. Son of a gun. Yes. Bad form. I don't blame you. Hey, well, what's your hurry? now, if you'll pardon me. Hey, come on in and have a drink. No, I don't think so. Thank you. Oh, come on. There's mighty pretty little gals in there. Yeah. You know, Jake Hunter hired them all the way out from back east. It's on the way up to Virginia City. There's two ruckus is held him old. I'm sorry to hear it, but now, really, I must be going. Oh, mister, you ain't seen such dancing, such carrying on. I'll be a son of a gun if I let you move on without seeing the nicest bit of female woman in flesh this side of St. Louis. Son of a gun, come on, let's go. You won't be sorry. <laughs> Right. Well, it's kind of early. It's still a little quiet. You warm up by and by. Hey, a name is Smith, Walleye Smith. J.B. Kendall, Mr. Smith. Howdy. Hey, what are you drinking? Oh, I'll take a beer if you don't mind. Oh, it'll make no never mind to me. Jake? Yeah. A beer from a pound of whiskey for me. Tell Andy to bring him over. Okay. J.B. Kendall, huh? J.B. Hey, you any kin to Arizona Kendall's down the Green Stone? No. What's your business, mister? I'm inside from fights. I'm a newspaper correspondent. Oh. oh hmm. Well, I'm a cowpuncher myself. Got paid off last week. This here's a good place to spend your money. <laughs> hey, how you like that there picture over the bar? Ain't she something? <laughs> there's quite a bit of her, isn't there? What'd you say? I say there's quite a bit of her, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little out of proportion here and there. Ample. Well, son of a gun, I like it. 
like you, Kendall. I like you. Son of a gun. Hey, what paper are you write for? London Times. Well, son of a gun. Hey, Annie. Hiya, Mr. Smith. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. This here is J.B. Kendall. Hi. You write for a newspaper, London Times. He's an important man. Now, you go call Crystal. Now, drinks are on me. Yeah, Mr. Smith. Hi, <laughs> yeah, me, I go for the nice fat one. It's something you can grab a hold on. Never did like dancing with them skin and bone gals. I gather Annie is your choice, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's some looker up. Oh, no doubt of it, Mr. Smith. Of course, now, there ain't nothing wrong with Crystal. She's the one close herding with that son of a gun, Bill Bassett. Oh, yeah. See? Um, I don't think he's taking kindly to your friend Annie's suggestion. Uh, he's a raunchy buzzard, ain't he? He's drunker than all. Um, I say, uh, look here, old boy. We don't want to cause any more trouble. You and your young lady have a nice evening. I'll be running along. Oh, sit down. Huh? I owe you for that fight. I always pay my debt. Well, here they come. Ladies, meet J.B. Kent. Uh, this here is Crystal, J.B. Crystal, how do you do? Go on, sit in his life, sweetheart. The poor uh, fellow ain't feeling his oats yet. Well, well, no, I, I'm, I'm sure Miss Crystal will be much more comfortable in a chair. Come here, Annie. Here we are. Uh, uh, would you, um, care for a drink? No, thanks. Oh. Uh, the, the, the gentleman you were dancing with, uh, he seems rather upset. Oh. Are you sure I can't get you something? What's the matter? You don't like me? Ain't I good enough to sit in your lap? Oh, well, not at all. I, I'd be delighted, but... Uh, but I'm Wild Bill Bass, and ain't no man nor dog would take my gal away from me. You riding hurt on Crystal I'm Bell. riding hurt on no one. But I paid good hard cash, and I'm going to have my dance out. You go rattle hocks out of here. And I say good hockey to you, all I. Gentlemen, I think the language is getting a trifle right. After all, there are ladies present. Well, who are you, you son of a gun? The name is Kendall. Well, good hockey to you, You Kendall. had your ride, mister. I ain't dancing no more with you. We'd like to stop my feet off, Mr. Kendall. I rather, think, I rather think it's up to the lady. Don't you, chum? Lady? She ain't no lady. Bill. Son of a gun. Bill, I'm right. giving you one second to rattle hawks out, and then I'm going to blow your ears off. No, 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 no. Oh, no need of that, are. Mr. Smith. You'll go along quietly, won't you, Mr. Baskin? Oh, you think you're a pretty big son of a gun, don't you? Well, you don't stampede me, mister. Now, come on, girl. Oh, no. Not at all polite. Yeah. Uh, hey, you're breaking my heart. Then, then be a good chap, and as Mr. Smith puts it, go rattle your heart. Ain't no son of a gun telling me what to do. I'm Wild Bill Bascom. Get out of here. Come on, he's got it. Son of a gun. You killed me. What's he mean, you killed him? He shot himself. You didn't even draw on him. Now, I don't allow no gun shooting in here. Uh, Jake, it's Bill Baskin. He aimed to salivate Mr. Kendall here, and he killed himself instead. Oh, that silly son of a gun. Now, you boys, you get him up out of there. That that rug cost me $300. Will somebody get a doctor? He's not dead. Yeah, I bet he is. How much you bet, mister? He ain't dead. I seen him move. Look. Why don't you shut your mouth? I'll get him off my rug. Take him in back. You can put him on the faro table. Give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Somebody find a doctor, please. Ain't no doctor except an army surgeon. He's getting himself scalped oh, by the shoe. Well, that shoe ain't no doctor around here. Yeah. I never knew Carefully he was not. heavy. Carefully. Yeah. All right, break up the game, boys. There's a goner here. Needs a table. Come on, brother. All right, tell you. All right, all right, boys. Put him down. I'm dying, boy. Give me a drink. I'll get it. Put him down, I said. Put him down. All right, he's there. Oh. 
Smell Martin. See me now. Annie, see if you can find some bandages. Clean rag, hot water. Sure. And don't you fret, Bill. Right. You're going to be just fine. Well, i got to get back to the bar. Anything you boys need, you let me know. Whiskey's on the house, Batten. You're a good man, Jay. I'll put in a word for you when I get where I'm going. Yeah, well, you do that. So long. All right, now. Let's get that jacket off, Batson. Oh. Mister, you treat me like I, I don't deserve it. Don't talk now. Smith, get the other arm. Uh, sure. Hey. No, I'm not. Now, wait a minute. Now, look, I, I ain't kidding you. These are my dying words. I... <coughs> I tried to kill you. Yeah. In my drink, I, I, I tried to, and it's heavy on my kind. Well, I sure wish I had me a preacher to make my peace with. Bill, will you shut your uh, son of a gun mouth and let us get this here jacket no, off of yeah. you? I ain't... Uh, careful now. Uh, uh, there we are. Now I have to tear the shirt. No. Uh, no, boy. This here's my... My bare shirt. I... I want to be buried in it. Here's the whiskey, Bill. Let me uh, chop his head up. Crystal, you... Angel of mercy, that... That's what you are, Chris. Will you? <laughs> Crystal girl, I ask him your forgiveness, sweetheart. <laughs> I acted purely like a boom tail with you. Forget it, Bill. Finish your drink. Does look mean, don't it, Mister Smith? Smith, Smith, come over here. Yeah, mm-hmm. right Just hold it still. I reckon he ain't got long. You know, if he don't bleed to death, it's gangrene for sure. Now, we can stop the bleeding, I think. But we've got to get that bullet out. Oh, ain't nobody around here crazy enough to try that. Ain't no sense carving up the poor son of a gun. Let him die comfortable like He doesn't have to die. There might be a chance. Will you help? Help what? Operate on him. You're loco. There's nothing to lose. How about another drink, boy? I'm going fast. All right, Mr. Give him all he wants, Chris. We'll keep pouring it into him. Now you think it's fitting for a man to die drunk? I think it's fitting for a man not to feel any more pain than he has to. What you doing with that knife? I told you I'm going to take that bullet out of him. If you want to help me, good. If not, you'll oblige me by rattling your hocks out of here. <laughs> Jack Benny. The gang arranges a surprise party for him on his birthday. But the surprise backfires in a hilarious way today on CBS Radio's Jack Benny program. Never mind the greeting card. Forget about buying him a present. Just be sure to join us on most of these same stations later on today when everybody has a good time at Jack Benny's birthday party except Jack himself. And now we return you to Anthony Ellis' production of Frontier Gentlemen. There are some men who possess a rather odd sentimentality about pain and death. They don't hesitate to empty a gun into a living body. With clear and shining conscience, they do this deed. But for those same men to retrieve a life, to cut into flesh to do so, that is a different matter. Walleye Smith was of this type. The thought of operating on Bill Bascom offended his sense of delicacy. Oh, you ain't no doc. You can't do that. I can bloody well try. Bandages, so I tore a sheet up. And here's the water. Good girl. Put it down on the table. Now, which one of you ladies will help? I will. Oh, sure. Me, too. All right. We'll try to stop the bleeding first. How do you feel, Bill? I'm dying, partner. How about another drink? Annie. I'm sure. Crystal, take some sheeting. Press it over the wound. Keep holding it there. Son of a gun, Kendall, I say you can't do it. My dear fellow, will you step over here for a moment? Now, now, Smith, look here. The fact that Bascom might die is partially my fault. How come? He shot himself. Circumstances. Excuse me. Well, you ain't no doc. So you said. You'll kill him. 
If we're lucky, I won't. If a man's luck runs out, that's the end. Don't pay to go again, nature. At a less pressing moment, I should be delighted to enter into a philosophical discussion with you, Smith, but not just now. Now, be a good chap and don't argue. But I ain't arguing, you son of a gun. I'm telling you, you ain't going to cut Bill up. Smith, I took you for something more than a thick-headed club hopper. I see I was mistaken. Oh, mister, you go on talking like that, there's going to be another dying man in here. Oh, dear. Awfully sorry. <coughs> Come on, gun. What's the matter with you boys? You stop, you hear? <coughs> now, miss, clear out and stay out. Oh, son of a gun. Now, how's our patient? It's half the bottle. There's enough rot gut in him to melt that bullet. <laughs> Wishful thinking, my dear. Bill. I'm going to take the bullet out. He'll do. All right, Crystal. Take a handful of rags. And when I tell you, wipe the blood away. What do you want me to do? Hold his hand. Try to keep him still. Oh. Ready? Yes. Here we go. I didn't know how deeply the bullet had penetrated. I could only guess at its approximate direction. I made an incision. Wipe. I'm doing it. Get out. A hundred said Basco makes it. Who said that? Me. You're on. White. He ain't breathing so good. I know. I'm... Will you get out? No, no, not me. I got money on Bill. Anybody else want to make a little bet? Yeah, fifty. He's still alive in two hours. Odds on that, two get you one. You're fed. White. Oh, why don't you go on out? We're trying to save him. You go right on trying, Annie. Anybody else? Well, I'd like maybe... Uh... Kendall, what do you think? Has he got a chance? How the devil should I know? Sure is a mess, ain't he? Hey, poor old Bill, he was a good man. Yeah, he sure could top a hole. Jake, 200, he's still alive come 4 o'clock. Uh, midnight now. I'll take it. All right, now, Kendall, you son of a gun, you pull him through. You want a chance to win? Oh, sure I do. Get these people out. All right, come on, Jake. No, Everybody, no, no, I'm staying. I got a big investment in that boy. Very well. I'm finished. You stay here. I won't go on. Let him die. I oh, see. Let him die. All right, all right, all right. We'll wait outside. Now, Walleye, you stay. You give us the word every five minutes. Well, sure. Oh, hold him, hold him. Hold him down. Hold him. I got you, Billy boy. Rest easy. Easy. Now, please. Now, I can't find it. I can't. Can't find it. Give me a rag, Crystal. Here. Thank you. Mm. Look at the color of him. He's going. Annie, give him whiskey, quickly. Yes. Yeah. That's better. piece of lead dug out before. Son of a gun. Hey, everybody, you got it out. And the son of a gun is still alive. We 
he bound up the wound, made him as comfortable as he could. He lost a great deal of blood and was terribly weak. There was nothing to do now but wait. The two girls stayed in the room with me, and there was something very different about them. Both were far from being beautiful, but there was a softness, a quality of loveliness which made their garish costume seem completely out of place. Howdy. Uh, how, how, how's she coming? Uh, about the same. You know, there's better than 10,000 been bed outside. 3.30 now, you, you think he'll live till 4? He might. I've got 200, says he got to. Yeah, and obviously he's got to. <laughs> kind of funny if he does pull through, though, huh? It'll be a miracle. He ain't a bad son of a gun. Sure looks white. Quiet. Almost like a kid, don't he? Uh, anything I can do, Colonel. Say a prayer if you feel like it. Yeah, well, I ain't a praying man, but I, I hope he makes it. Uh, not on account of my 200. I just hope he makes it. For you, that's a prayer, Smith. <clears throat> You'll have a drink. No, no, thank you. Well, I, I, I'll go out and, and keep them all quiet. Yes, that's a good idea. Mister. Yes, Crystal. I know a prayer. You think it'd help? I don't know. It might. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. Bascom. Bascom. Bill? How do you feel? Bill? Mm-hmm. Can you hear me, Bascom? I'm dying, boy. Give me a drink. Wild Bill Bascom didn't die. A number of people won money because of it, and a number of others lost. Mr. Smith insisted on dividing his winnings with me. During his presentation speech, he was so overcome that not once did he refer to me as a son of a gun. An omission I was happy to overlook. Frontier Gentlemen was written, produced, and directed by Anthony Ellis and stars John Daner as J.B. Kendall. Featured in the cast were Jack Crucian, Stacey Harris, Virginia Gregg, Eve McVeigh, Barney Phillips, and Charles Seal. Music was composed and conducted by Jerry Goldsmith. King Cole and Eartha Kitt may not tell all to Mitch Miller tonight, but knowing Mitch as we do, we're sure his talented visitors will feel free to talk about anything and everything of interest. For an informal get-together with some of the brightest names in show business, hear the Mitch Miller Show every Sunday night on most of these same stations. Now stay tuned for the Ford Road Show, which follows immediately over most of these same stations. Join us again next week for another report from the Frontier Gentleman. John Wall speaking. This is the CBS Radio Network.